Hi guys. So I'm out here and I'm just harvesting. Look at those sweet peas. Aren't they beautiful? And peas and um, homestead peas, all kinds of peas. And uh, basically I am harvesting away because the more you pick peas, the more that they grow. So that is the beauty of peas. And you know what? Uh, I put up bags and bags of these last year and we are on our last bag. Um, they're perfect in stir fries. They're perfect in anything that you just can throw them out. But I'm gonna show you these beautiful little purple ones. Hopefully you can hear me over top of the pressure washer, not very relaxing. My daughter's over there, as you can see, pressure washing out the trailer. But look at these, look at these gorgeous peas. Um, these are King Tut purples and they actually, when they steam up, they actually steam and stay purple. Um, so, and they come with these beautiful purple flowers. So I'm, I'm very excited about those this year that they were a really a nice uh, uh, addition. Last year, none of them came up because um, I'm not sure why, what happened to them last year but I, I've planted them three years in a row and this is really my first year getting any harvest off them. So anyway, you can see I've got all kinds of peas there. Now this is a snow pea. These aren't homestead or shell peas, those are coming. Um, and I have another sowing of those over there um, under some wire because I have a friend in the garden. See that little guy right there? I don't know if I can zoom in on him. No, I guess not. Anyway, you can see him. This is Mrs. Fluffy. To her, actually. But she has been busy eating my uh, beans and um, eating uh, my cabbages. Yeah, she's not... Uh, I have put her back in her cage four times. I'm not quite sure why on earth she keeps getting out. But anyway, I am just trying... And she's the only one that keeps getting out. So she's either really, really smart or... You know, <laughs> I'm really not, uh, I'm really not going to go there. I'm either not really smart. So basically I'm just picking away. We're getting a really bad storm on Friday. So I am trying to get as much harvested as I can over the garden before um, that. Um, see that big trellis back there? That's going to have sunset runner beans all up it. And luckily they are just hitting the top of that bottom rung. So I'm going to anchor that down and hopefully that will not fall over and I will not lose that. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, don't want to interrupt teenagers when they're cleaning. Uh, you know, let, let her, I'll, I'll change my schedule. I'm not interrupting her. Um, yes, yeah, she went off the ride tonight and you can see in my stories, my Instagram stories, I have, uh, posted a video of her, um, tr uh, barrel racing. So anyway, yeah, so I've done that and uh, put that up. So anyway, now I'm just out here doing a little bit of weeding, doing a little bit of gardening. My carrots are coming along beautifully. I've got a huge bed of carrots there, you know, and they are just, sorry, that's awkward. Um, yeah, they've, they're coming along gorgeous. Um, you know, the tomato hoop house is up. Uh, turnips are coming along great. Uh, you know, uh, I, you, my zinnias are all coming up. Everything, all my rows are coming up. So that's fabulous too. I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, so everything's clipping right along. I, I, for the longest time, felt like I was really far behind in the garden and was getting a little anxious. Um, but things are good. Things are okay. The, I do have to uh, uh, bed down my tomato potatoes with a little more straw. Um, I've got some in between the rows. I want to bed those down with a little more. And I'm going to finish picking these peas. So anyway, I hope Elsa treats you well. Um, if you're gonna get the brunt of it like we are, um, I hope Elsa treats you well. So she's done. <laughs> so we won't have that uh, noise again. Um, anyway, uh, it's uh, it's good. Like I said, I don't want to interrupt her cleaning because she was cleaning like a mad woman. So yeah, trailer's looking great. So anyway, got all the mats pressure washed out and everything like that. Uh, anyway. Um, so yeah, I was talking about anxiety in the garden, um, feeling a little overwhelmed and, um, you know, and I couldn't really put a finger on it, but I realized that it was grief and that I needed to just sit with that. Um, this is not a contest or a race, uh, you know, for the garden. It, you know, it's not a question of, oops, sorry, mosquito. It's not a question of, I always want to, um, 
you know, have my garden look a certain way or anything like that. I just know where I am in terms of food storage every year. And I felt like I wasn't there. Um, and I felt like, you know, I was behind and that, you know, was stressing me out thinking about, you know, having to spend money on groceries when I could grow them and I needed to grow them and I just needed to catch up. Um, so, uh, but I don't think it was that anyway, <laughs> you know, where it's never about what it's about. And I say that all the time, you know, when the kids have little squabbles about little things and they just seem like little things, but it's never usually about what it's about or even Trevor and I, you know, it's usually about something a little deeper. So, um, I felt like that in the garden. I felt like it was not a, it wasn't a case of feeling like, um, you know, uh, it wasn't a case of feeling like it was about the garden even, you know, or being behind. Um, I felt like it was really more about grief and, um, you know, needing to, needing to sit with that for a little bit and heal. And I just felt like I, I needed to name that and I needed to really just like own it. And, um, until I did that, I just really felt like I wasn't going to really be able to, um, to, to feel good in the garden, uh, for a bit. So now that I'm starting to harvest things and get my hands in, you know, I don't really think it's about the harvest either. <laughs> I think it's about, you know, getting my hands dirty and feeling like, you know, things are, you know, seeing some, some rewards of, of all the planting that I did and all the seed starting and things like that. Starting to see those, that those, those things come to fruition has been healing for me. So I don't know if you're at that or if you're feeling a certain level of anxiety about the garden or overwhelm. Um, but I do, I do, encourage you to sit with that, uh, like I did and, um, you know, and, and to try to, uh, name that for yourself and, and figure out what it's about. Because like I mentioned, it's usually not what it's about. Um, it's usually never about, uh, you know, what you think it is. So yeah. Um, anyway, if, if that's something that you're struggling with, I wish you, uh, you know, the best of, of luck with that and to sit with that and shoot me a message if you need to. I'd love to chat with you about, you know, if you're feeling any anxiety about the garden. Um, cause I've talked to a few people that have felt the same way. So it may be a product of what's all going on with, uh, you know, the world as well. But I think mostly it is, uh, just, you know, for me, it was, uh, you know, the, the, uh, grief process, uh, for, uh, you know, my loved one, um, that had passed away and my father-in-law and, uh, you know, and that whole process of, of being able able to, uh, you know, let that go and to heal. So anyway, just want to uh, give you that little uh, encouragement if you need it. And, uh, you know, sort of let you know, uh, you know, there's seasons to all of these things. And, and, uh, you know, this, uh, it's no different every every year, something, you know, with the garden helps, helps heal me a little more inside from whatever has ailed me that year. Anyway, take care.